Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I trust and hope that you have been enjoying your morning. And we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the Atlantic. And a focus will be on the Caribbean. We'll be looking at what is currently happening, the rainfall forecast, and also what models have to show. They remain pretty consistent about that potential area of moisture as we head into this weekend and next week. And we could see development. So here we are taking a look at this satellite imagery of the North Atlantic. There's all that activity off the US due to those fronts moving out and also a couple of troughs out there as well. And all that activity is in association with the intertropical convergence zone or the itch. And that is where the trade winds of the North and South meet. And when they do, we can see activity as this developing. And uh, going into the Caribbean now, we see that increase in moisture still being pretty much prevalent across the uh, wind Allens and even that activity associated with Invest 97L. So it's no longer on the National Hurricane Center's outlook because development is not expected at all. However, let's take a look at this surface chart and here we can see that L for that low pressure area, but that broken orange line is a trough that has been inducing a lot of heavy rain across portions of Central America that will continue through the early part of this week. And there we also see that uh, symbol there with that triangle and the semicircle, that is a stationary front, which means it has tall there, it's not really moving and that is helping to produce some activity as well. There we see those other troughs out there. Now let's go ahead and return to this satellite imagery and there could still be those periods of very heavy rain uh, with even more flooding across portions of Central America and this has been going on for quite some time now even before the disturbance arrived there has been some activity across portions of Central America but now with it being in the area there is a lot more that is happening. Some areas have experienced a lot of flooding and uh, there has been some damage to a property. But eventually, we're going to see a lot of this activity eventually dissipating. However, as we head into next week, there could be another surge of moisture. And uh, with that, we could see development take place. It's not a guarantee, but models are hinting that that may eventually happen. Going to other areas, portions of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Cuba, even the Cayman Islands at times, Jamaica, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, uh, the Virgin Islands even headed toward most of the Leeward Islands. Uh, there isn't a whole lot going on, but as I said earlier, down as we head through to the Windward Islands, even to our Trinidad and Tobago, and then going toward the ABC Islands, we can see that there is some activity within the area and for portions of Northern South America as well. Now, how about the rainfall forecast for the day? Let's go ahead and look at what Euro has to show. So across the Bahamas and even some spots in Florida, there may be some rainfall activity. That rainfall chance isn't high at all, especially for Florida. But across portions of the Bahamas, especially going toward the southern Bahamian Islands, there could be some periods of very heavy rain. Things will be a bit on the drier side for the Turks and Caicos Islands and even for uh, portions of Cuba as well, going toward the Cayman Islands and some spots in Jamaica. Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, and near the Virgin Islands, there may be some rainfall activity popping up, especially as we head to later today. However, that will not be the case for everywhere across these aforementioned areas. Similar story as we head toward most of the Leeward Islands, Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barthelme, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Seba, St. Eustatius, and even for Montserrat, there may not be a whole lot of rainfall through today, but there may be some showers passing by or some thunderstorms popping up. And that chance increases as we head toward Guadeloupe, Dominic, Nica, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad, Tobago, and Barbados. So there has been all that increase in moisture across the area, resulting in those showers. And uh, that is likely to continue through today. It may not be very continuous, but there could be some intermittent showers and even some thunderstorms at times, potentially even some heavy downpours. Now, as we head toward the ABC Island, there is a chance of some additional rainfall activity. Same story as we head to Northern South America, especially for Colombia, where there could be a lot of heavy rain which actually induces flooding later today and then even as we head toward uh, Venezuela and parts of Guyana. Headed towards Central America, we know how the story goes. There is a front, 97L, and that trough extending from it, which is inducing a lot of heavy rain. So, especially for the northern Central American territories, Mexico, uh, Belize, the Keys of Belize, Bay Islands of Honduras, headed toward uh, Guatemala, even for portions of Honduras itself, there could be a lot of heavy rain, a lot more heavy rainfall, and many areas are already saturated. So, more rain on top of that will actually help to enhance that flooding that many persons have been experiencing. So, please stay safe guys as best as you can if you're being impacted by these systems. 
Now let's go ahead and move on to what models have to show. So as I mentioned, we could see something try to form as we head into next week. The GFS remains quite bullish on it. This is as we head out to Sunday the 12th. Uh, the 12th of the month so that is a week out from now we can see that the gfs is showing all that increase in moisture and that area flow pressure for men offshore off jamaica as we head to our next saturday the 18th of the month there we can see that gfs is showing that a hurricane uh, will be in the northwestern caribbean that sits around and loiters for some time and I mean, I'm not saying that this is impossible, it certainly isn't because we're talking about the weather here, but uh, at the same time, I'm not really anticipating a major hurricane in the Caribbean. I think a hurricane would be possible, yes, and uh, once the conditions are right, though, we could certainly see rapid intensification, so it's not at all impossible, and GFS just has it sitting around there and just gaining strength, and that would happen in such a scenario. Why? Because there are very warm waters, there's a lot of available heat energy to support development and even rapid intensification because yes the waters are very warm at the surface but also beneath the surface there are very warm waters so a lot of available energy next we're going on to the euro model this is as we head out into next tuesday the 14th of november and there we can see again that increase in moisture uh, all that activity moving up to the northwest and this would actually mean bad news for central america just coming out of all that rainfall activity uh, that will eventually dissipate what's currently happening there so the euro is showing that we could see yet another increase in moisture and depending on where that area of low pressure tries to form if it is very close to land or over land we wouldn't see much development of it because our land interaction is an inhibiting factor but here we see that euro is showing all that increase over in the northwest caribbean basically for the same areas right now which are experiencing a lot of that heavy rain due to uh, 97 l in the trough and then next we look at the Canadian model. This goes out to Tuesday evening of next week. And there we can see, again, all that increase in moisture across the Northwest Caribbean, even extended into the Gulf of Mexico. Then going out to Sunday the 12th, the icon is showing something similar here. So there we can see the models agreeing that there will be all that increase in moisture. And with that, as I said, we could see an area flow pressure form and try to develop, but that will only happen once the environment is conducive, especially as it relates to those upper level winds, because those help to displace thunderstorms and cut off these systems, preventing them from growing and intensifying much. So guys, that is what I wanted to share with you in this update. Again, there's still a lot of that heavy rainfall in the Caribbean impact in some areas, portions of Central America, and even over in the Eastern Caribbean, there is still that increase in moisture, bringing some rainfall activity. So that's what's going on. And as per usual, I'll be keeping you posted. So I hope you found this video to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I can. And remember to always be weather wise.